Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanson, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a hell of a show for you guys. But before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a pretty cool survey that we want you guys to fill in. It is absolutely free. And you have an opportunity to win a $35 Amazon gift card. So if you guys want to be a part of that, make sure you click on the link, fill it out, take you a few seconds. Just all you got to do is just leave your email uh, once you fill it out. Appreciate that. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get into this topic here. As you guys know, the playoffs are pretty much here games are going to start kicking off on saturday although we don't know the schedule as of yet yesterday there was some still some playing games a game in which the philadelphia 76ers were able to edge out the um what is it the miami heat but edge them out they they secured the seven seed they're going to be playing again but obviously jimmy butler has an mcl uh injury so he's going to be playing they're going to be playing against the chicago bulls to determine the eighth spot i think that's going to be tomorrow if i'm not mistaken so we have that news there but one of the one of the most anticipated series going into the first round is going to be the series uh between the or rematch rather between the los angeles lakers and the denver nuggets who faced off last year uh in the western conference finals and when those two teams matched up obviously we all saw there was a close they were close pretty close games some of them but basically the denver nuggets pretty much just dominated the Lakers in four games and they swept them up out of there. The most impressive game of that, of that entire series to me was game four, where the Denver Nuggets looked like they really, really, really wanted to send home a message. Like they didn't have to play as hard as they did, but they really wanted to send a message that we're on a totally different level. Uh, and they went in there and totally dominated. So what happened this morning? Uh, I was doing some research, kind of you know preparing for today. Then I came across an interesting uh, piece of audio. Uh, because as you guys know, they're interviewing players and coaches before and after practice, just kind of ramping up, getting fans in the know, the media in the know, preparing for these games. So they were talking to Denver Nuggets head coach, Mike Malone, and they were discussing uh, the matchup between themselves and the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, and as he was talking, man, he basically started saying like, you know, we swept them before, we swept them last year, we swept them this year, you know, we really ready for them. I'm like, well, damn. Tell us how you really feel. So for those of you who didn't hear what the head coach had to say about the Lakers, I want to play for you now and then come back and give you guys our thoughts. Take a listen to what Mike Malone had to say here. Obviously, it can be kind of circumstantial, but where are you at in terms of figuring out how deep into your bench you feel like you can go or want to go with, with this matchup? Yeah, we'll go as deep as we need. How can you feel the focus and intensity turn up now that it's put on time with go time? Like, can you describe what that feels like around the team? Uh, I really can't, you know, I mean, it's like a feeling, you know, deep down inside. Uh, so how do you describe that? Uh, no, I think more importantly, like we have a veteran group. And as I told them, like when the play-ins are done, there's 16 teams in the postseason and there's 15 teams trying to take what we have. We have to understand that. Like this is not going into round one, game one. They're like, there's, there's a bullseye on our back even more so now. Like, the, the league's been cut in half almost. And uh, we have a responsibility to understand that. The LA is, we, we swept them last year. We swept them this year. They're coming in, not only playing well, but really hungry. And they want to flip that script. And, and we have to understand that, Katie, and, uh, and bring that. And I think our players do. Uh, but that was our message today, man. Don't, don't let anybody in these playoffs take what we worked so hard to get. There hasn't been a back-to-back -back champion since 17, 18 in Golden State. And it's going to be a hell of a challenge. Uh, I've said this uh, for, for months now. The Western Conference playoffs are going to be insane. Uh, forget seeding. Uh, the number in front of each team, throw that out the window. There's going to be eight really talented teams. Uh, and there's a number of teams that, that I think, you know, wouldn't be surprised coming out of the West because that's how deep and talented it is. So you heard what Mike Malone had to say uh, there, right? He didn't really... Um mince words and i came across an article here from fadeawayworld.net where it says anthony davis says lakers are not ducking the smoke against the denver nuggets then continued on the lakers will face a familiar foe in the first round of the western conference playoffs and defeating them will be no easy feat but even knowing the battles to come anthony davis says the lakers mindset is of total fearlessness coming into the highly anticipated series if they beat us they beat us and uh, ad told the athletic we're not ducking the smoke around the nba there's been a growing movement that says teams should try to arrange a certain first round matchup uh to tip the odds in their favor the cleveland cavaliers for example particularly through their final game uh, of the regular season to ensure a matchup against the Orlando Magic. And in the article, 
uh, goes on to say a few other things. So AD and these guys, Darvin Ham, you obviously heard him say that people that are suggesting that they should have lost that game are coming from the insane, insane asylum. Uh, so it seems like these guys are really ready. Uh, they've, they've basically come to terms with the fact that they're going to be facing against this behemoth uh, of a team. What are my thoughts? Well, we all know that Mike Malone is a fantastic uh, trash talker. We saw that last year at the championship parade and all of the various interviews he did like that on the Pat McAfee show. He trolls people, right? And I think it's hilarious. Uh, I think it's hilarious because he's, he, give, he gives uh, his team some attitude, right? Because, because Nikola Jokic is not that type of person. So he kind of fills in that gap for them. He talks on their behalf. Uh, some people don't like that, but obviously those are people that have sour grapes uh, that they ended up winning the championship. Look. Uh, coming into this playoff series, I think um, Mike Malone is going to, going to need to give his team the edge. Uh, he's going to need to put a battery in their backs to get to understand that, hey, listen, uh, we're going to be playing against a potentially dangerous team. So you want to make sure that you're mentally dialed in going into this series. Uh, I made a prediction. My prediction for this series is that I think that the Denver Nuggets are not going to sweep the Lakers. If they sweep the Lakers, I'm going to be floored. Like, they'll be crazy. It'd be crazy because then essentially they would have swept the Lakers uh, 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 you know, on three different occasions in a year and a half. That's 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 madness. That's madness. Uh, so I don't think that would happen. I think though, however, that Denver is going to win this series in five games. Here's my breakdown. I think Denver is going to hold court. I think they're going to win their first two games in Denver. Then I think maybe the Lakers are going to probably win game three, and then Denver may steal one game. I don't think the Lakers are good enough to steal a game in Denver, and then Denver will come out come out uh, and close out the series in game five on their home court if the lakers drop game three it's a wrap they're going to get swept in four games but i don't see something like that happen or even it could go six who knows maybe the lakers could take a stand you know they could be rejuvenated last year some people said that they faced um the 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 the, the, the you know the eventual champions in the western conference finals when they were burnt out they didn't have enough fuel in the tank but this year they're going to be facing them in the first round so they're going to have more energy we shall see but what i can't say for what i can say uh, for, for, for a fact is that I like the energy uh, that Mike Malone is coming with, right? I like it. And I like the energy that, you know, Anthony Davis and these guys are coming with because trust me, I think they don't want to get embarrassed by this team. They definitely don't want to get embarrassed. And I think Denver is a team that can embarrass you if you're not careful. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about today's show? What do you think about this commentary? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments and we catch you on the next show. Peace.